It's Summer Nam 2016 in Nashville, Tennessee, and we're on the LD Systems booth with Stephen, who's going to show us a new miniature line array. So, Stephen, the Curve 500, what's the story? Oh, absolutely. It, it is uh, the world's smallest line array, typically. And uh, what's really wonderful about it is that it's scalable, so that you can uh, use it uh, as a portable system on a pole mount, or you can flip it and hang it on truss, hang it on walls, on ceilings, mm -hmm. so you can basically tailor, um, make it to whatever application uh, you're using it for. Okay, and how are you actually going to fly those from the roof? What sort of mounting hardware is there? We have a truss mount bracket, mm -hmm. we've got a wall mount bracket, we have a ceiling mount bracket, they all basically fit on the uh, SmartLink adapter, and uh, they'll basically fit in any of those spaces. Okay, and it's a modular system, so can you tell us a bit about that? Absolutely. You can use, uh, it uses a cube array system, and you can use one, two, three, or four of the cubes, mm -hmm. depending on the uh, dispersion pattern that you need for the room, yeah. and uh, how much energy you want to provide into the room. Mm -hmm. uh, each of the cubes is 110 degrees horizontal mm -hmm. and 15 degrees vertical. Right. So uh, based on how many cubes, you can have up to a 60 degree vertical pattern uh, within a room, up to four. And. Uh, so this mounts onto this pole here, which presumably works with a, a sub as well, does it? Correct. Yeah, and this configuration is a portable system, so you can either you can stand mount it on the pole. If you're using less cubes, there's another uh, hole in the in the pole that you can array it a certain way so that it projects forward. Mm -hmm. And then the subwoofer is what provides the power to the cubes uh, coming mm -hmm. on up. And can you tell us a bit about the sub and how it's powered? What I mean, what what are of the course, amps like? Of course, and the sub contains a 10-inch subwoofer. And uh, it's a 480 watts RMS, about 1,000 watts peak power. There's also a four-channel mixer built into the sub uh, with Bluetooth technology, so you mm -hmm. can just stream right off of your, your phone if you want. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's DSP, uh, 16 uh, different reverb presets for vocals. Mm -hmm. So it's great um, as, a, as a keyboard setup. You could, you could plug uh, instruments directly into it. Mm -hmm. Or an external mixer, if you're mixing an entire uh, band, you can plug right that into it as well. It's also great for DJs. Okay, and what sort of size of venues are we talking about? So these are, they look pretty small. Oh yeah, well a, a, well, a single system, this will put out 128 uh, SPL, dB SPL. And uh, you could do, you know, depending on the size of the room, 250, 300 people with just one system. If you add a second system, mm -hmm. uh, you can get one that doesn't have the mixer built in, it's just a power uh, sub okay, yep. with, with another four cubes. Uh, that brings you up to about 134 dB SPL, so that would be at least 350, 400 people. Right, so, okay. Uh, for a small system, it really packs a punch. And how much do these cost then? And um, they're available now, of course. Oh, but that, yeah, we're, what we're are the different arrangements? Right now. But they're available in both black and white. Uh, both systems, a single system as you see it here with the cubes, the pole, the sub, everything included in one box is $1,199 US map price. Mm -hmm. And if you add the second system, that's an additional $900 uh, dollars for the second half. So about $2,100 for a complete left right system. Okay, great. Thanks very much. Thank you.